This is horrible. We can't just leave that woman in this prison. We must find a way to free her from here. Sybil, do not do that! I know this woman. She is not here by accident. She is a witch. If you free her, we all run the risk of falling under the power of her magic. But father, we can't just let this poor person die here. It would be inhuman. Inhuman? That is exactly what she is, my child. He's the wicked one. Aeolus, is it not? He's the one who imprisoned me, with no food or water, and barely clothed. I what? You lying bitch! Don't listen to her! Father? She is trying to manipulate you. Use your brain, child! I'm begging you, get me out of here! I can't hold on much longer! You seem to know a lot about her. What the hell are you doing here anyway? The steward asked me to look into a dark power that has been affecting some of the villagers. Something evil. And my search has led me here. It is no coincidence. That cursed woman is the cause. I wouldn't expect him to admit to keeping a woman captive in the swamps for his own evil purposes. Nonsense! And so you just trotted out here with no escort. What, were you afraid we'd charge you extra? I came here as quickly as possible, yes. To stop you committing a grievous error. I was hoping that you would escort us back to the village afterwards. Without a supplement, yes. Seems to me that you are quite well paid. Who are you? My name is Edwin. The ignorant will tell you that I'm a witch. A sorceress, or even a necromancer. The truth is much simpler and more socially acceptable. I am, in fact, a magician. But neither as powerful nor as evil-minded as they think me. She lies to thee. She is hiding something, and it is not her body. You would say that. I beg your pardon. No, nothing. Believe me, she is powerful. She is evil, and she is a danger to us all! I've never been in the habit of just letting people die like animals in a cage, whatever their crimes may be. This woman doesn't look like a dead walker. That's enough for me. We'll take her back to Valvador, and you can tell your stories to them. Stay away, you stupid girl! No! Fools! Leave her in that cage! Now meet your eternity. What are you doing to him? Let him go! Very well. You may have him. I am finished. Father? Father! Oh no, no! This can't be happening! You're gonna wish you had died back there in that cell, you sick bitch! Wait, wait! If I am to die, I wish to know who stands before me. You're the one who better talk, or your last meal will be your own tongue. Character. That's a change. Too bad it doesn't seem to be accompanied by a minimum of clear thinking. From what I can see, you're an imbecile, incapable of piercing the face that hides the true nature of the Red Scribes. Well, I can pierce your face, if that's all you want, in several places. Mock, if you like lamb that you are, you insist on believing that your employers are only scholars, curious and inoffensive. Can you not see more? Red scribes, ice lords, they come from the same mold and they want the same thing. Some are simply more successful in their efforts. Aeolus thought I possessed knowledge which he could use to become the equal of the ice lords. That's why he questioned me. That's 
That's ridiculous. You are the monster. You're a liar. My father wasn't like that. A liar! You murderer! You'll pay for what you did! Sybil, wait! Witch, I suggest you behave yourself if you don't want to find yourself back rotting in that cell of yours. I'm far from finished with you. I have questions. Lots of questions. And you had better make damn sure I like the answers. So be it. Then I will tell you exactly what you want to hear, mercenary. You had the upper hand. Why did you decide to kill the leader of the Red Scribes? I desperately needed to replenish my power, so I drained his. My mood grows a bit murderous when I get too hungry, or when I spend too many days trapped in a filthy cell without so much as a toilet. Your friend was no hero. His aim was to reproduce the same ancient rituals that permitted powerful magicians to become the Ice Lords that we are fighting even now. He wasn't my friend. He was my employer, and a very influential man. You could have spared him, giving credence to your version of events, but you chose to kill him, and thus any chance of them listening to you. He was a deceitful and manipulative man. No one would have listened to me, so I permitted myself the pleasure of preventing him from harming anyone else. The World Heart has had nothing but suffering from these magicians. I rejoice at this death. We need more like it. Your pleasure won't last long. I have to bring you to Valvanor, where both of us are going to be in a lot of trouble. And since you took it upon yourself to kill their leader, I think you can expect that the Red Scribes are going to want you dead. Do what you must do, mercenary. I'm your prisoner and will offer no resistance. Therefore, take me to your captain. My captain? We have a contract with the Red Scribes. If you have decided you'd rather end it all, I can do it right here, right now, if you like. Cleanly. Otherwise, your best move is to tell your side of the story to the steward. If he'll even listen to you. Ah, but there is the girl. What girl? Sybil? You're dreaming. You killed her father right before her own eyes. She's never gonna take your side. On the contrary, she will tell the truth. She will confirm all that happened here. We'll see. But whatever happens, if I go down, witch, I guarantee you'll go down even harder. Besides Elas, did you see any of the other Red Scribes? I was drugged before being brought here. Aeolus is the only scribe who came to visit me during my captivity. But his second-in-command must have known, although I don't know exactly how much Aeolus was able to manipulate his puppets. If they are all as naive as his daughter, I imagine the temptation must have been great. The Red Scribes performed a ritual in an ancient temple. Does that mean anything to you? So that's the reason why he disappeared. The ritual was designed to augment his power. Had it succeeded, he would have become an accomplished magician, the first step toward becoming an Ice Lord. Given the ease with which I killed him, I suspect the ritual was a failure, or at least a partial failure. The ritual was no big deal. Just a bit of light and smoke. Really? Yet you managed to destroy a creature that made a quick meal of every other living thing that had the misfortune of wandering by. You witnessed this ritual? Listen, I'm no expert in magic, but I would bet my firstborn child that Alas did not achieve the result he wanted. Well, given that he is now face down in the mud, I imagine we can agree on that point. Let's finish this discussion in Valvanor. Better get back before they send a battalion out to look for us. Have you decided what you're going to do with me? I'm working on it. Meanwhile, I remain a prisoner. You are free to do what you want as long as you stay in the village or with me. 
if you cross the line, I'm the one who will straighten you out. So one false move and I blow you up. It's painful. Are we clear? Yes, very clear. And perfect timing as well. It just so happens that I have absolutely no intention of disturbing this delicious village in any way. A place whose tragic end now seems ordained, and over whose corpse the red scribes and freeborn blades will scrabble in the bleeding mud. A spectacle which promises to be unique, and one I would dream of missing for the world. Well, enjoy the show. But if I ever need your help, I want to be able to count on it. Hmm, very well. You may consider that we have an arrangement. I would like to ask you a few questions. Alas called you a sorceress. Well, are you one? A sorceress? Only a rube or an imbecile would call someone a sorceress. If Aeolus had even a minimum of intelligence and discernment, he would have chosen another term. I do a bit of magic, it's true, but that makes me a magician. Nonetheless, my abilities could never rival those of a Lord of the Frozen Shadows, even if I am far more powerful than any Red Scribe will ever be. So this demon inside me, what is it? I can't say for sure. I've only rarely ever seen something so interesting, but all the same, I am certain of one thing. Your host is directly linked to the World Heart. To the World Heart? It's a simple question of logic. The ritual performed by the scribes had to make contact with the World Heart somehow. Your affinity for flames is a crucial clue. Okay, but what's my role in all this? For now, you are the vehicle. You'll have to decide if you're going to use its power, or just be a simple vessel. Can we win this war? You already know the answer. What was the last battle the Dead Walker army lost? I... I never heard of them losing a battle. In fact, the last time was 12 years ago. In those days, Vertiol didn't even know the Lords of the Frozen Shadows existed, or that they were at war. This all took place in a kingdom in the Northeast. I don't recall the name, but their victory was destined to be short-lived. A few days after having stopped the Deadwalker army, the kingdom was razed to the ground by an even greater offensive. But then it is possible to win a battle. You haven't understood. Whatever the result of a battle, the Dead Walker army feeds. Whether they win or lose, they always prevail. All the bodies that fall are eventually integrated into their ranks. It's a war of attrition. If it were only military victory they sought, yes. But don't forget, they are crafty and intelligent. They can defeat you long before you are overwhelmed by a ruse or by magic. Sounds promising. Thanks. Don't be pissed, but I've got to go face him. Well, first go see your steward before the villagers decide to burn me at the stake. I mean, if you want to, Vulcan. It'll probably turn into an interrogation pretty quickly. Try not to make it worse for yourself. And don't kill anyone, for starters. Especially if he's wearing red. That seems reasonable to me, for the moment. I'd rather stay here, if you don't mind. Why? You're not planning to give me the slip by any chance, are you? I don't like the idea of getting locked up by the Red Scribes again. It might provoke me into a loss of my legendary restraint. And I'm sure that you don't want to have to scrape another one of your employers up off the ground. Hmm. Well, it's true that I prefer they remain in one piece. All right, fine, you can stay here. But if you do get it in your head to run away, I will find you. You won't like it when I do. I'm trembling, but yes, I'll wait here. As I understand it, some people are behaving even more stupidly than they normally do. That's right. They have asked me to check it out. Perfect. I'll come along with you. Hang on. What is your interest in all of this?
Is there something you're not telling me? What are you trying to prove by coming with me? How perceptive, how brilliant. Yeah, great. Just tell me what you know or think you know about all of this. All right, but keep it to yourself for the moment. We don't want to start a panic, at least not until we're completely sure of ourselves. It seems to me that I recognize these symptoms, and if I am right, these people are possessed. What? What are you talking about? I'm not yet certain. We absolutely must inspect and investigate further in order to be sure. But I think the Deadwalker army is behind all of this. All right, let's go. I'm going to have need of your talents. Come with me. You offer me what? Sword play? Suspicion and sarcasm? Huh. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Let's be honest. Considering the sort of women what are still available in the village and what a rubbish lover he is, I doubt he's got a mistress. And he's hardly gonna find any gorgeous sluts wandering around the swamps. You might be surprised. You're too kind. I can't decide whether I'm flattered or vaguely insulted. Don't change a thing. You're perfect. So true. Thanks for noticing. Do you think we ought to follow the Prince to Carathas? If you want to get to the World Heart, we'll need to go by there. But the Prince's company seems both unnecessary and dangerous. Believe me, I know his type all too well. Invested with a mission, he is soon overwhelmed by, probably named by some obscure prophecy. In the name of his family, or because of an idealized vision of his future duties as sovereign, he will give his all. In other words, all his imbecility. Edwin, I need to speak to you. What can I do for you? I would like to ask you a few questions. I always hear people talking about the World Heart. What exactly is it? First, forget all the children's stories about a friendly force for good, or its mythical dimension. The World Heart is very real. It is above all a source of power. It is from there that magic comes, as well as certain energies necessary for the proper functioning of our world. These energies can be captured and used that is what magicians do. In their own way, each draws his power from the world heart. The demon insists we must purify it. That mean anything to you? It's a good bet it is referring indirectly to the Ice Lords. As you know, those magicians have access to immeasurable power. This power has an origin and a cost. They drew it from the world heart with a veracity that is truly limitless. Each of the Ice Lord's palaces has a portal linking it to the source. Imagine leeches sucking away endlessly on the energy which feeds them. To purify it, you'd have to rid the world heart of all those leeches. So all we have to do is go to this place nobody knows and clean out the all-powerful magical parasites. Sounds like a plan to me. Aren't you cold like that? Is that your polite way of suggesting I'm indecently dressed? I was simply concerned about your health. Oh, how touching. But after having spent nights on end, trapped in a cage in the middle of the swamps, I can assure you that catching a cold is not highest on the list of things I worry about. We're going to try to take back the town. Any suggestions? Yes, of course. You'll need to locate a unicorn, a few leprechauns, and perhaps a fairy or two. They are your last, best hope for retaking the town. So you're saying it's impossible? You catch on quickly. The might of the entire elven army was swept away in a few minutes. The red scribes and freeborn blades are only a few dozen strong. Be realistic. Your allies are disintegrating. You'd be better off fleeing this place. And then what? 
Wait for the war to be lost? Put off dying another month or two until the Deadwalker army finds us? You could hide yourself and learn how to control your demon. I could help you and speed your progress. I see what you're doing. You're trying to isolate me from the others. Then what? You're going to cut my throat first chance you get? Why? What use do I have for your corpse? You forget that the only reason I'm still here is your host. Why would I want to eliminate its carrier? I'm not gonna risk my ass. Not for you. I'd rather go fight the Deadwalker army. Hey, thanks for your help. Without you, we never would have gotten anything out of that dead stiff. You know me, I just love to be helpful. We're not alone. What the hell is that thing with all those legs? It is a concubine. Lord Blackfrost has always had somewhat unusual erotic tastes. Why would she be here, unless she already knows of our plan? Curse them! Look at the support pillars. They crawl with dead walkers. A trap, and a good one. Your little friends will be taken from the rear, if you'll pardon the expression. We must prevent it. We have to hurry to open the drawbridge. I say we must not. This concubine has given us an opportunity. We must attack her while her troops are busy elsewhere. These are creatures of great power. You must absorb them one by one if you hope to stand against Lord Blackfrost. Those other men are already as good as lost. Do not heed the words of this witch! If you do not open the bridge, all our soldiers will die and this war will be over. I do not believe you even have need of this misshapen beast's supposed power. This evil whore is twisting your mind. She wishes to weaken us. From the beginning, she has been hiding something from us, and it will go ill for you if you trust her. Really? I would have hoped for a little more affection from someone who spies on me when I bathe. Relmar is right. If we do nothing, those elves are dead. So be it. Go then. Help your lost army. But remember that you have condemned us all. At best, you will gain a little time, but you will never have a better chance than the one that you are now throwing away. <laughs> Or should I say, White Lady? It's nice of you to come and see me. You left in such a rush. <laughs> Laugh while you can, you idiot. Your stupidity has condemned this world. That's funny, coming from a fallen ice lady. You had a chance to take Black Frost by surprise. A unique opportunity to thwart him. And you let it slip through your fingers. What? You think I'm here to enjoy the scenery? You are here because he wishes it so. He's waiting for you. You have given him time to prepare for you. To think of a way to get his hands on the power you hold. And there can be no question of letting him do as he wishes. For over a year I have labored alone to liberate the world heart. The power belongs to me and no one else. Don't worry. I'm gonna give you more than you can take.